How's it going everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder and there is just a ton of new content between Marvel, DC, and Star Wars coming out over the next couple of years. And one of the big ones coming out next year, one that everybody is super stoked for, is the Obi-Wan Kenobi series with the return of Ewan McGregor as Kenobi of course. And today StarWars.com has released an absolutely star-studded cast for this upcoming Disney Plus show, one that is definitely going to get you excited for the series. And if you want to know the details on everything that we know so far about the series, this is the video for you. Now before we get into anything, if you don't know this, Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker is returning and Hayden Christensen is returning to play him. This is obviously huge exciting news and everybody is super pumped about this. When he went on record talking about the show and talking about returning as Anakin Skywalker, he said, it was such an incredible journey playing Anakin Skywalker. Of course, Anakin and Obi-Wan weren't on the greatest of terms when we last saw them. It will be interesting to see what an amazing director like Deborah Chow has in store for us all. I'm excited to work with Ewan again. It feels good to be back. And Kathleen Kennedy said this about Hayden Christensen's return. This will be the rematch of the century, so it looks like they are indeed going to be fighting at some point in time during the series. Now, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is going to take place 10 years after The Revenge of the Sith and 9 years before A New Hope. Now, before we dive into all of the listed cast members, keep in mind that we could see an appearance from Qui-Gon Jinn in the form of a Force ghost. Near the end of Revenge of the Sith, Yoda told Obi-Wan, In your solitude on Tatooine, training I have for you. An old friend has learned the path to immortality, one who has returned from the netherworld of the Force, your old master. How to commune with him, I will teach you. So there is a possibility here that Liam Neeson could return as Qui-Gon Jinn. Now besides Ewan McGregor, the star of the show, and Hayden Christensen, the second star of the show, Star Wars and Disney are bringing in a huge cast for the series. Two of the characters we have seen before, Joel Edgerton and Bonnie Peace, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. They are returning as Owen and Buru Lars, better known as Luke Skywalker's Uncle Owen and Aunt Buru. This is great because in A New Hope, Owen talks about that crazy old wizard referring to Obi-Wan, and Obi-Wan has always had a lot of tension with Luke's family in the comics, so it'll be great to see this explored on screen. Now unfortunately we don't know who the rest of the cast is playing as far as characters are concerned, but it is a great cast. Mixed with well known actors and not so well known actors, which is what Star Wars seemingly does. Get some actors that aren't exactly huge yet. But the rest of the cast includes Moses Ingram, she was recently in the Netflix show The Queen's Gambit, which was really well received by the fans. Then we have Kumail Nanjiani who is an awesome choice to play a character in the Star Wars universe. Him being cast in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is surprising but at the same time not really because he's currently playing a character in Marvel's The Eternals. So he's working with Disney already and they seemingly thought that he did a pretty good job with one character so had him jump over to the Star Wars universe. And then we have Indira Varma joining the cast and she's most well known for her character on Game of Thrones, Alaria Sand. Then we have Rupert Friend joining the cast and if I had to guess he is most likely going to be playing a villain. He just kind of has that look, perhaps an Imperial officer. Then we have another big name, O'Shea Jackson Jr., the oldest son of rapper and now actor Ice Cube, and he's been in some pretty big movies like Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and Straight Out of Compton. Then we have Soong Kang, which a lot of people are excited for and is most widely known for his role in the Fast and the Furious movies. In the Fast and the Furious films, his character is named Han, and his full name is actually Han Solo, so it's kind of funny and ironic that he is now in the Star Wars universe. And then finishing our list, we have Simone Kessel and Benny Safda completing the cast for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Now, it's been revealed today that production for the show is starting next month in April, and the show should be coming out sometime in 2022, but we don't have an official release date yet. But if you want to stay up to date on all things happening with the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos, and let me know what you think about this cast in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video, and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.